Hey guys, Palmerator here, and I am probably bringing you my favorite mod I've ever seen, reviewed, ever seen, done, ever, ever, ever anything, um, and it's quite nerdy, and so I figured some of you out there might have the same interests as me, and uh, yeah, I was just going through the mods, new mods up in Minecraft uh, on the forums, and I came across this one, look it out, download it, and it is awesome. What it is called is Advanced Chemistry Mod, and... Um, I don't think I've ever mentioned this or anything, but I am a complete chemistry goober. And uh, so, a goober as in not like a smart at it, but just like I love it so much. And I am fascinated by it and uh, awesome. So to bring this to Minecraft is just insane for me. Um, so let me just show you, the, after I geeked out there for a little bit, uh, let me show you what's in it. Let's do a little side view over here. And uh, these are the items in here now. There's a few, there's more uh, coming. There's more that I... Didn't get a chance to show in here just because there's so many things, and I'll, but I'll, I'll talk you through those because I didn't figure there was a point to do every single one. Um, but essentially, what it is is it's chemistry, and it's essentially building atoms, building things, building com compounds, uh, all in Minecraft. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. It brings some really cool features into it, and it uh, it, it definitely adds an entirely new depth to Minecraft that I've never seen before. So. Uh, starting here, this is probably the most basic uh, element in part of this mod. It's the building block of everything else, and it is called the chemical basis. And this is an ore you found in the ground. This is what it looks like. It's green, kind of got that redstone look. And, and if it was night right now, you'd actually be able to see um, that it glows a little bit like redstone, but in a green tint. And uh, the chemical basis is obviously the basis to all the chemicals. And uh, so we have protons, neutrons, and electrons right here. Three chemical bases sideways uh, in, in a row uh, make an electron. One chemical basis anywhere makes a neutron. And then a like a plus sign chemical basis makes a proton. So obviously put those into a crafting bench. And you'd come out with uh, each one of these. So let's get one of each here. And then you would bring it to an atomic crafting table. So let me throw that out here. I have one placed down here. And it would let me get these out of here because this is ruining the surprise uh, to get these out. And, um, so, yeah, what this is, is it's essentially protons, neutrons, and then your electrons. And uh, this mod, as of right now, only has the first, uh, 20 electron or 20 atoms, I should say, involved. So, uh, you need a little chemistry b background, or at least knowledge, uh, to understand how to use these. Um, but essentially, you put the protons up here, you put the neutrons up here. Wait, let me make sure I didn't put that backwards. I think this is right here, and then one, no, oh, I think these are backwards, no, no, I was right, alright, so, exactly like this, so, the most basic atom there is, is a hydrogen atom, it consists of one proton, one electron, it has a 1.001 atomic mass, but that's just my nerdiness kicking in, um, so, you put the proton here, you put the electron here, this is the number of shells, this number of protons, this number of neutrons, so, electron, uh, a hydrogen has just one proton, one electron, no neutrons, Boom, you pick that out, you got a hydrogen. I'll show you what you can do with that. It's not just completely nerdy. Um, so, same thing again. If I wanted to make a helium, I put one neutron, two heliums, and boom. Now I have myself a helium atom. And it goes on and on like this. Um, the neutrons, even for someone that knows chemistry, can kind of be hard to figure out. Um, but, uh, so now, take a look here. If I wanted to... Uh, if I wanted... So I know... I'm, if I want to make a helium... Uh, sorry, a lithium... lithium uh, atom uh, i know that there's three protons and one two i'm not trying to be like a, a, a chemistry buff here um but you do have to know a little bit of chemistry to get this um down right so two shells you only can fit two electrons in the first shell eight uh eight 18 32 50 but there doesn't actually fit 15 here so let me show you that what i mean here eight this is going to take a while after 18 and then let me just throw all these in here and 32 but this one's only going to hold eight even though that's not actually that's just for this mod that's a all right i need to calm down here um i'm kind of going crazy here um but that's essentially the shell system this is the protons this is the neutrons i can't really go i could spend hours trying to explain this to you give you like a basic level chemistry class here um, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to show you how to craft certain elements. There's a whole guide in the 
product uh, description, so I will show you those. Um, it has all the crafting recipes for all the elements, but uh, so there's the first three. You have hydrogen, helium, and lithium. So, that took a lot of words to explain, um, but yeah, that is what it was. And, oh, and, and this was the crafting recipe for the, uh, for the atomic creation lab right there. So that's st stone slabs, the creation, and then a crafting bench. Whew. Okay, coming on to the next one. Uh, this is where it starts to get cool. So you have, let me show you all the atoms. Uh, let me scroll down because there's not one word that just you can search for all of them right here. So you have hydrogen through calcium, the first 20 elements. I made hydrogen, helium, and lithium. So as you know, each element do special things. For example, coal. Coal does something special. Uh, it's, it's carbon, sorry, carbon does something special in this game. It makes a carbon plate. And if you have three carbon plates, you make a diamond. So right there, if you can figure out how to get enough of these, uh, uh, whatever these are called, the, uh, fuck, what are they called? <laughs> the chemical basis, there we go. You can actually make diamonds out of them by making carbon, uh, first making carbon, then making carbon plates, and then making diamond. So uh, that's one use of them. Another one is making, this is more of a fun one, less useful, but fun, is a helium balloon. And the way that is five, five, five red wool, a helium, and a string, which makes a helium balloon. So you shoot them up in the air, and they fly. They fly faster than you can actually go. Um, but as you can actually shoot them down with arrows, which is kind of fun. Uh, you can pop them. So I was having fun with that earlier. And uh, then you would, let me put it over here. I don't need that. And uh, then you can make an oxygen mask. Oxygen mass is obvi obviously an oxygen, and then you have the iron ingots. You put your oxygen helmet on like this. Let me put it over here, and you got yourself an oxygen mask. I don't know if it actually does anything. You kind of got like a Bane look going on here, um, but you can see the difference. So there's my face before, and then here's my face after. Here's my face after. Let's see, F5. And yeah, so there's a big difference there, and I don't know if it actually does anything. I don't know if it's something that I'm thinking about adding into the mod later. Um, but right now, it's just pretty cool looking, at least from what I can tell. And this is probably one of my favorite favorite additives, and it is a neon sign. Here's a neon sign. If it was dark out once again, you'd be able to see that it lights up the like very bright, very bright, brighter than a torch, I'd say, or maybe just about the same. And then it has words on it. And the way you do that is two neons two uh, stone planks, or wooden planks, and a stick, and you get a neon sign, which you can just pick up and place around and all that cool stuff. Um, and then you're gonna make, this is a different one, it's a reinforced glass. Let me get some reinforced glass here, and show you that it's actually stronger. Against ex it's stronger against explosions, and um, fist pumping. And uh, so obviously glass would have broken right now. It's not impossible to break. It's kind of like breaking cobble. I, w I, I would compare it to that. And uh, so yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's that's cool. You, the way you craft that is with boron because that's what they do in the real world. So one boron, one glass makes a reinforced glass. And uh, yes, and then you have your protected, it's like see-through cobble is kind of like the strength of it. Another one of my favorites is the bucket of nitrogen here. Um, it's pretty cool. What it does is it essentially makes snow. You place it all over the ground. It doesn't freeze up water. It doesn't turn uh, lava into obsidian, which I thought would be kind of cool if it did. Um, but no, it is. It's just. It's just essentially put places snow on things. And the way that you craft it is a nitrogen uh, with a bucket, and on top of that you get a bucket of nitrogen. And so that is pretty cool. And. Uh, just kind of de decorative, doesn't really have much effect on things, doesn't kill animals, like I said, or any of that stuff. It doesn't even kill the flowers, so uh, it is, it, it's pretty cool, I just wish it had some more like useful effects. Um, so that's all the stuff that you can craft out of it, here's just the just what it looks like in a frame, I don't even have all the elements in there, but uh, like I said, you get hydrogen all the way through calcium, and you can do a bunch of different things with all, uh, you can't use all of them, you can use like half of them, so there's these. Uh, uses that I showed here and then there's two more uh, if you put a just plain sulfur you get five um, gunpowder if you put a straight uh, calcium you get 12 bone marrow and those are the only two left so there's a lot of them that they're not using like lithium and all these things but uh, they're gonna be implemented this is still a new mod this was made by like a 13 year old kid so that's crazy 
Um, at least that's what it says on the mod review thing uh, on his. And I don't know why someone would lie about their age being younger, uh, but I believe it. You know, there's some really smart kids out there. So a 13 year old kid made this and makes us all feel dumb. Um, but so it's a really awesome mod. I really man, recommend you guys checking it out, telling me how you liked it. Maybe there's more things that I'm missing. I don't. If it is, it, it's not written on the on the forum page. Um, but if there's more things you can craft, more things you can figure out, I would love to know that. That'd be awesome. And. Uh, if not, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a like if you did like the mod. Check out the mod. Subscribe if you are not for more mod reviews. Yeah, Minecraft Hunger Games, all that Minecrafty stuff. And with uh, without that, guys, I think that's it. I'm going to uh, go enjoy this mod and just be a complete nerd. Um, so, guys, hope you enjoyed. Palm Reader signing off. Peace.